I am keeping the fan on. It is so fucking hot in this room that I actually might die of heat. I might drown in my own fucking sweat. Hear a noise. That's I should probably be pointed away from the camera though. From the mic. Hello, fellas and ladies. I watched the Garfield movie and I missed my life before I did. So the Garfield movie stars Chris Pratt as the famous Garfield, the cat who is lazy and loves lasagna and hates Mondays. But in this movie, his dad comes back and now uh, there's like a heist on a train and on a farm. And at a certain point, Garfield's kind of just there for no real reason. Nothing in this world, not even this review, can possibly prepare you for just how bad this movie is. I'll talk about what I liked first, I suppose. Don't worry, this will be brief. I was into the animation. It seems to be following a similar idea to like the Peanuts movie, where it's basically like a 3D version of the original comic strips animation. It's not nearly as stylistically pleasing as the Peanuts movie's animation, but I still was into it. It also made way for an occasional chuckle out of me through the film's visual gags. This is one of those animated movies that seems to actually want to be animated and takes full advantage of the fact that it is animated with the way they decided to show certain things in comically outlandish ways the only thing that got me any form of enjoyment out of this movie yeah so this movie's plot is total nonsense a lot of it feels jumbled together with no real purpose it also doesn't make sense for this to be a garfield movie garfield is a series of comic strips small comic strips mind you about a cat who is lazy the movie will occasionally sprinkle some like the garfield's like known shit but like lazily they'll mention that every once in a while but this movie seems to be more interested in his love of pizza he also barely talks about how much he hates mondays which is strange the movie attempts to give us an explanation for his hate for mondays but it doesn't make any fucking sense because the reason for his hate could happen on any other day not just monday not saying the movie needed to like provide backstory into his hate for mondays like a tragic thing although i never really understood why garfield hated monday so much i don't know where the contempt came from he's a cat he doesn't have to go to work he can still continue his lazy lifestyle even on a monday but anyway that's the idea of this garbage movie this movie's writing is very confused like this movie wasn't made by because someone was like hey i have an idea for a garfield movie like make no mistake this movie is studio mandated like somebody at sony was like we have garfield as a property hey you write over there write a write a fucking movie with the cat let's get the money and they just went what if garfield just did a crime heist thriller and also John was barely in it. It reeks of nothing, the whole movie. I also don't know what they were thinking, trying to force an abandoned father complex on fucking Garfield. Like if they tried to be like genuinely serious about the storyline, why do they kind of like fucking resolve this in the 45 minute mark in the most unserious way imaginable? Why would anyone want to see Garfield with daddy issues? Who thought that was a good idea? The movie tries to go for heart and it feels oh so artificial and the jokes are so bad and now's a good time to talk about how goddamn much this movie panders this movie feels like it belongs in 2005 the amount of cat video jokes in this movie is ridiculous as if that's still a funny thing that people laugh at the product placement from walmart and olive garden hilarious not intentionally i should say <laughs> film has a weird amount of tom cruise jokes there's one scene where the top gun song starts blaring and the scene had nothing to do with top gun so what? The humor and even the writing as a whole and like just the entire idea of this movie feels like Sony Pictures Animation learned nothing from the infamous hate the Emoji Movie got. And this movie doesn't go as low as the Emoji Movie, but a lot of the flaws in that I share with this movie. There's like a central rule in comedy writing, and trust me, you should take my word when it comes to comedy writing. But if you're trying to write comedy and the jokes don't make you you laugh like the writer laugh why would like it's not gonna make anyone else laugh writing jokes simply with the notion that other people will find the jokes funny but you won't i promise you that will never work and it's crazy how evident it is in the garfield movie that all the jokes are written by some out of touch dudes and just assume hey it's what the kids like you don't have to pander to like the lowest common denominator just to get a laugh and clearly not because it fucking failed also chris pratt is crazy miscast i swear to god i'm not one of the people who just like hate chris pratt as an actor he can be good just hollywood used him terribly but in here there was not a moment where it didn't feel like i was just listening to some guy talking to a voice booth and those words are just coming out of garfield it was so distracting he was miscast as mario but like i kind of rolled with it there it's possible it's because my expectations were like rock bottom but like i don't know i won't say it worked in mario it was just it wasn't as distracting as it was here but when you have a movie so corporate and so lazy and fucking um bearably bad the flaws like that stick out a lot more i can already hear the people going oh it's for kids yeah, don't take it so seriously sure kids will probably like it the kids at my screening actually did enjoy it but fuck you i've seen plenty of kids movies step up there's a movie about fucking lego 
That's one of the most creative movies of the decade. It also had serious heart attacks to it. There's another theoretically unnecessary cash grab movie by an orange cat called Puss in Boots The Last Wish. And I was so moved by that movie that it literally made me ponder my existence. So I don't want to hear that excuse that movies aimed at kids should get a pass. Because what? Kids are stupid? In case it wasn't clear, the Garfield movie is horrendous. It's lazy. It's pandery. It's lame. It's unfunny. It's artificial as hell. Bill Murray Garfield movies suck, but at least I can enjoy those movies on an ironic level. This movie is nothing more than a miserable experience. And if the filmmakers aren't going to try, if they don't care, I see no reason why anyone over the age of three should seek this out. And I'm giving this movie one lasagna out of ten. Alright, that is uh, the end of that. Fuck Garfield. I, I, I just want to see Furiosa already. Like, subscribe, share, and I'm going to go mound down on a plate of lasagna like a real lasagna lover.